a brief look at the values of capacitors. Uh, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a, uh, what is this, Thursday? I believe it is a Thursday. Um, what we're going to look at today is, if you can see on the screen in front of you, is capacitors. Now, there's a, a simple way of, of thinking about those, what they do and things like that, but uh, we're not interested in that. We're interested in microfarads, picofarads, and nanofarads. All right, what we're looking at now is a, uh, a good indication of how this is laid out uh, in, in relationship to a farad, which is a big capacitor. <laughs> you guys have probably never seen a farad capac capacitor in your life. But uh, anyway, we, we usually talk about microfarad capacitors, uh, nanofarad capacitors, and picofarad capacitors. So if we look at the um, chart there, <clears throat> one farad equals one million microfarad, and that equals one billion nanofarad, which also equals one trillion picofarad. You can see how they're laid out there. That's uh, that's the relationship between the micro, the nano, and the pico. So that's a good good thing to remember, but it's not totally necessary. Let's let's go on to the next. So if we look at the uh, what's on the screen now, <clears throat> micro is equal to one millionth, whatever you're talking about, whether it be farads, you know, anything. It's one millionth. Nano is equal to one billionth. And pico is equal to one trillionth. Now you can see how that relates to your chart above, where uh, one farad equals one million microfarads. So that's micro. And it equals one billion, which is a billionth if you go the other way, uh, nanofarads, and it's one trillion picofarads. So there you go, there's a relationship between those. And again, I'm going to stress, this is this is all leading to something. You guys are not going to have to remember any of this. I just want to lay the ground groundwork here for, for understanding uh, how these uh, different values are, you know, related to each other. Now let's go to the next slide. Now we're going to take off the uh, one farad. Like I said, that's that's totally uh, unnecessary. You don't need it. You'll never have that that kind of uh, uh, value illustrated in a electronics uh, circuit. So let's get rid of that and go to the next one. So now we're back to one million microfarad equals one billion nanofarad equals one trillion picofarad. So that's the basic relationship that we're going to work with. Now let's go to the next slide. And if we look at it a little bit differently, one microfarad equals 1,000 nanofarads equals 1 million picofarads. Those are relationships. Now these are, these are values that you may actually see when you're looking at a diagram. You'll see a, a one microfarad used sometimes and you'll see uh, maybe a thousand nanofarad. You'll probably never ever see a million picofarad uh, used, but that's just the relationship that we're going to look at. So let's go to the next one. And the next one is 0.1 microfarad. Now you know, you'll see that a lot. And that equals 100 nanofarad. You'll see that a lot. And again, on the picofarad, you very seldom see a thousand or a hundred thousand picofarad. So let's go to the next one. And that is 0.01. Again, you'll see that quite often uh, in microfarads. And that's 10 nanofarads. And that equals 10,000 picofarads. Again, not very many times you'll see it as expressed as 10,000 picofarad. But, you know, that's just the relationship that we're looking at. So, now, the next one we're going to look at is probably the last one we'll consider on the uh, microfarad, microfarad side. And that is a 0.001. You'll see that in old, especially in older diagrams. Now, a lot of older diagrams don't even use nanofarads. You, you'll never ever see that in uh, if you if you work on specifically old radios, things like that. You'll never see nanofarads expressed on any of those. This is a fairly recent development. So, according to our chart, now we can see that 0.001 microfarad equals one nanofarad. And now we're getting down to a range that the picofarads might be expressed in, and that's 1,000 picofarad. 
So you see the uh, relationships between the uh, you know different values when we when we go through this. So let's go to the next one, and that is again we're not going to use the micro because there's very seldom do you ever see point zero 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 one, <laughs> but uh, we do see a point one nanofarad from time to time, and that is a hundred picofarad. That is more more of the value that we're looking for on our picofarads now. So that's the prevalent um, designation now usually is picofarads when we get down to this value. So let's go one more. And that is 0.01 nanofarad. And that's 10 picofarad. Now that's about it. I mean you go down any more and it's one picofarad and that's about it. So you know you just kind of have to uh, go with the flow as it was. and. Um, except the fact that uh, you know that's how these are laid out on to the next one and what it is you know, like i said you guys are really not going to have to worry about this a lot what you need to do is go on the internet and look for a capacitor value cheat sheet now this one's laid out very nicely i like the way it it's, it explains things it has the uh, capacitance codes listed these are the popular sizes. This is not all the sizes, but you you pretty much can you can make do with something like this because if if you have one between the 15 and the uh, 47, for instance, a 22 picofarad, well you can you can you can take that and, and extrapolate what the nanofarad value would be. It'd be 0 0.022, and you know go on or over to. Of course, there's no microfarad because it, there's never ever anything expressed that low. So you know. That's, that's a good chart to have on your workbench because you can generally look at that and see probably 90 to 95% of the capacitors you'll ever run across right there. And you'll get the instant code value right there. It's, it's right there printed on the chart. And it does have the uh, value up above if you really want to figure it out. So that's there. So like I said, this is the uh, thing I use basically is uh, something like this and it makes it a lot easier to me anyway to uh, look at these uh, capacitors in a different way because like I said now a lot of you guys, older guys especially, never had to deal with nanofarads and it's something again I would say since the computer age came about uh, is when it came, came into being. Now it's always been around as a word obviously but uh, <laughs> it's uh, like I said, it's not been used, especially in your older radios. I'd say pre uh, uh, pre eighties, maybe you'll never ever see anything expressed in, in nanofarads. Uh, so you know that's uh, and that's what a lot of us guys work on is the older radios. So picofarads and microfarads is really the only thing we have to deal with. But when we're express or when we're messing with these new uh, uh, experimenting with the new circuits and things like that, a lot of times they are expressed in nanofarads. So it's it's helpful to know, at least have a chart like this to, to look at and basically go by and uh, that helps a lot, I think. And for Bill, you can see clearly, Bill, that uh, <laughs> nanofarads and picofarads are not the same thing. So, you know, if you're, if you're substituting them one for the other, you're not, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so, Anyway, like I said, I hope this helps some of you guys out there that's, that deals with things like this on a, a, a once in a while basis like I do. And I always have Bob to lean on. Bob generally you know, you know, lets me know wh where I'm wrong at and things like that. But uh, like I said, it's, uh, this uh, makes a nice little, little chart to uh, print out, especially if you have a, a, a color computer. Now mine's black and white, but uh, like I said, it still gets the point across, I think. So, all right, I'm going to close this out with that, and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Uh, I am thinking very seriously. I have, I'm trying another new experiment, uh, the Walmart grocery deliver, or uh, grocery pickup service has started today in our town, and I already have my order in. <laughs> I was out of groceries, so... Uh, I placed an order uh, earlier today, and it's uh, you have to schedule your time that you're going to want to pick it up. And mine, I think, is between 6 and 7. So I'm kind of waiting on that, waiting around for that to get done so I can get my groceries. And uh, and then I may I may try to tune up that uh, 
AM transmitter. I'm going to use, like I said, the IM5284 hooked to that little circuit board. And I'm going to have a ground to it. It's going to go to earth ground. I know some of you guys, you guys like to say, point out, say, hey, you should have had that to earth ground. Well, you know, I don't think in a, in a circuit like this is really going to matter that much. But, you know, we're going to do that just to please some people. <laughs> so stand by for that. That will probably, uh see, I have a video for tomorrow already. That may be Saturday before you see that. But uh, anyway, I'm hoping it comes out good, and Bob's going to be rooting for me, I know. So we will see how that turns out. And like I say, you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.